In this video, I will show you how to install instrument cluster speedometer in GTA 5. This is a new speedometer that you will be able to add to the game. This speedometer is different from previous speedometers for GTA 5 because the instrument cluster speedometer can measure the speed and time of the distance you have traveled in the car. I will show the speedometer review after installation, so to install this mod, you need to download it from the GTA 5 mods website. You also need to download Scripthook 5 and Scripthook5.net. This mod only works with the Scripthook5.net nightly builds version, so download this version of Scripthook5.net nightly builds. After that, open the GTA 5 game folder. Open the Scripthook 5 archive and open the bin folder. Copy the dinput 8.dll file and Scripthook5.dll to the GTA 5 game folder. Next, open the scripthook5.net nightly builds archive and copy all the files except the text files to the GTA 5 game folder. Create a new folder in the GTA 5 game folder and name it scripts. But if you already have a scripts folder, then you don't need to create it again. Open the scripts folder. After that, open the instrument cluster speedometer mod archive. Copy all the files to the scripts folder. The speedometer has been successfully installed. Now I will start the GTA 5 game and show you how to use this mod. After launching the GTA 5 game, the speedometer will start if you get into the car. But before starting, I recommend opening the game settings and disabling the HUD, so that the game inscriptions do not appear near the location of the speedometer. After that, you need to get into the car so that the speedometer appears. The speedometer appears and disappears automatically. The speedometer skin cannot be changed in the settings, but it looks very nice. Now I will show you how to set up this speedometer. Press the zero key on your keyboard to launch the speedometer setup menu. Use the keyboard arrows to control the settings of this menu. In the position and scale section, you can change the location of the speedometer on the screen. You can also change the size of the speedometer. Sampling rate is the setting of the speedometer needle. If you lower the number, then the arrow will react very badly. Therefore, I recommend not changing this setting in the menu. You will also be able to change the units of measurement of the speedometer. You can choose kilometers or miles. I will show the timer settings during the test. Therefore, now we will test the operation of the speedometer at different speeds using this car. That's dumb luck right there. The speedometer measures speed very accurately, but now I'll show you how to use the last two time settings. You can choose the type of race, drag or lap timer. After that, you will see a time report on the speedometer. This time measures the duration of your trip. Select timer options and there you will see the distance. This distance is measured by a timer and you can change the distance. Once the vehicle starts moving, the timer starts automatically. The timer measures the travel time, which is specified in the timer options section. After driving the distance, the timer will stop and you will see the time on the speedometer that you spent driving that distance. Instrument Cluster Speedometer is one of the most popular speedometers for GTA 5. 
If you like this video, then like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for watching.